So I have a Wolf Grundman vocal here. It has a completely straight bend and it's supposed to eliminate popping sounds from moisture in the vocal as well as be acoustically better and more ergonomic and that it adjusts your posture a little bit because you have to adjust the bassoon a little lower um, with this particular bend. So I'm just going to talk about this vocal and give my opinions on it after playing on it for about a week. These are just my opinions on it. So you can only get these vocals from Midwest Musical Imports as far as I'm aware and this is the cheapest one at $665. Um, which isn't too bad. Um, some vocals are easily over a thousand, um, but it's obviously not the cheapest either, so it's kind of sitting at mid price range. So let's start with posture. So I have my bassoon and I have my usual vocal I have. I don't know what type it is, just an unmarked two. Um, but this would generally be like the posture I have when I'm playing at. <laughs> Um, and then let's compare how it adjusts posture to the other one. So I just switched the vocals out and I didn't adjust the bassoon height at all. So if I don't do that, I kind of have to sit up a little taller than I'm more comfortable doing. Um, so you do have to actually lower the bassoon a little bit um, to be to where you're used to. So that, that part is true about the bend. Um, Tilt-wise, I think it mentions something in the description about how the bassoon would be more straight up. But tilt-wise, I actually almost feel like I'm... like it's tilted more forward. Um, it, or at least it's just how it feels. But overall, it really doesn't feel too different. I don't think I'm lowering it so significantly that it's something I'm personally noticing. Um, it doesn't really feel all that different though. Um, it, the weirdest thing about it is you're, I'm kind of used to seeing a curve here from the vocal and now I'm seeing a straight line. So that's kind of like the weirdest thing about it, honestly. Posture-wise, it feels really roughly about the same. So sound-wise, I can't really hear a difference tonally from my vocal to the wolf vocal. Um, it, it more or less sounds the same and the pitch is ro really roughly about the same. If there's any differences at all, I really, I really don't necessarily notice them because it, even if there is like a difference, maybe one's slightly higher than the other um, or vice versa. It, they're so they're sitting so close it's easy to voice it back into tune so sound wise and and tuning wise I, I really don't necessarily notice it I think they're both um, in particular the wolf I find it's very even throughout the registers um, it feels just like the vocal I have now, which is really nice. Um, not that I even know what my vocal is, but it, in my opinion, the Wolf vocal does have a very, very nice, even intonation. Um, I will say, um, I have a Puchner vocal, uh, Puchner vocal, I have a Puchner bassoon, um, and I was playing an opera last week, and the other bassoonist had a Fox bassoon, and he tried it on his, and it made the biggest difference. It, the quality of sound was so much more distinct, uh, pleasant to listen to, um, it sounded like more soloistic, it had like a fuller tone, um, it, it was just wild how different the sound was on a fox bassoon. So it, it's very possible that the wolf vocal will make a bigger difference just depending on your bassoon and possibly even how you make your reeds. Uh, maybe it didn't have much to do with the bassoon as maybe um, just how the reed was set up. Um, so, oh, you know, that, that's just something I think from person to person you're either going to notice a big difference or it's going to probably be roughly the same. Um, I don't think it would ever be worse though. Um, there's just nothing about the vocal that would make me think it would play worse. The response to me feels pretty much the same. Um, I think if there's any difference, it's in the extreme high notes once you get past like the high C. Um, I think that's where there might be some differences. 
Um, so I'll start on the high B flat. So you can see that this reed is struggling with the high E. So I think I'll have a little easier time on the wolf vocal. time, same read, um, but I had a much easier time getting the high E to come out versus my standard vocal. So it does seem to, on the extreme high end, it does seem a little easier um, to get it to come out for, for whatever reason. Uh, it could just be that um, because there's less of a curve here, there is less air resistance, so that, that's why it feels slightly easier in this vocal. It's probably what it is, um, kind of similar to like trumpets that have like the reverse tubing. Trumpet players claim that makes a difference. Who knows? Um, there could be something else going on. It, it, it's just kind of hard to tell. Uh, but it, it does feel easier in the extreme high register. I can't get up too much though. Um, that's probably the um, not the vocal. Um, oh, right. I'm just going to play some little excerpts. I'm going to switch back to my other vocal. I'm going to play some little excerpts from the Saint Saint Bassoon Sonata. Um, and just to give you guys, whoever's watching this, and has too much time in their day, um, just to kind of hear the difference between uh, what is my standard vocal and then the difference the, the wolf vocal may or may not make. I'm, ju I'm just going to play very, very small stuff.
I, that was weak. <laughs> say um as i'm just watching my tuner here it does feel like the upper register actually tends a little sharper so i feel like i have to work harder to open up and let that come down a little bit um i'm sure if i regularly played on this vocal zone kind of made reads around it it probably wouldn't be a huge issue <laughs> completely placebo effect maybe I'm just psyching myself out on the other vocal and I really could do it uh, but it really does feel like the upper register responds better it does seem to maybe sit a little higher too uh, but I, I think if I regularly played on this vocal and made reads around it I don't think that would really be um, an issue to me too that uh, I guess maybe it is possible that the vocal is overall shorter um, and maybe that's why it's sitting slightly higher uh, more noticeably on some notes and maybe that's why the upper notes are easier because I do know that some bassoonists will switch to like a one vocal for high note passages and things like that um, so it really could be that maybe not the bend but um, otherwise I really think this is a very 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 nice vocal um, I'm also gonna post um, me playing um, a cover I did one version on my vocal, and then I did another version with this vocal, um, and I'll post the links to that in the description, so you can also hear an entire piece done between the two vocals as well. Um, but uh, here's some way, just summary of thoughts. I think this is a really good vocal, um, and it really doesn't ever make the popping sounds. The spit never gets stuck. It never makes those popping sounds. You don't have to worry about. Um, you know, playing longer passages where there's no breaks and popping sounds starting to happen in the middle. Um, however, it does do something else when it doesn't make the popping sounds. Um, the, the water can actually just leak out the other end of the reed. Um, so that's kind of gross. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, it really doesn't make the popping sounds. So, I mean, it, I think it's kind of a good trade-off. Um, this isn't the most expensive vocal. I would love to see... Um, uh, maybe a, a, an even cheaper model if somehow possible to maybe rival some of the Fox vocals because I do think this I think this bend because it gets rid of the popping sound entirely I, I do think it should become popular if not the standard bend uh, Because it completely eliminates an aspect that you, before you have to worry about and it completely eliminates that which I think is really nice um, I think on certain bassoons as well as I noticed when my friend played on the Fox their own Fox bassoon um, it just made such a huge difference in sound production. Um, so I, I think it's really overall very, 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 um, very, very, very nice vocal. Um, I'm probably going to wait for a used one to come out and buy it because um, it doesn't sound and respond quite differently enough for me to want to justify paying $665. Um, but if you are in the market for a vocal, um, these are available at Midwest Musical Imports and um, they're very, they're very, very, very nice vocals.